This is the Tom Hartman Program. Welcome back. Tom Hartman here with you. I promised you a surprise guest. It's the Reverend Rob Ryersey, R-O-B-B-R-Y-E-R-S-E. He is uh, running for Congress in Arkansas's 3rd District, and his website is rob, R-O-B-B, 2018.com, which uh, will take you also to the uh, website of the uh, brandnewcongress.org, uh, his particular page on that. It's a pretty remarkable thing. And the, the super remarkable thing is that uh, Pastor Ryersey is running as a progressive Republican. Um, uh, Reverend Ryersey, welcome to the program. Thank you, Tom. Really appreciate you having me on today. Thanks for joining us. My, my, you know, I'm a Democrat. My dad was a Republican, and he always identified himself as an Eisenhower Republican. And Dwight Eisenhower, of course, as I'm sure you know, uh, when ran when he ran for re-election in when he ran for election in in 1952, his campaign was "Vote for Eisenhower, vote for peace." That was the slogan. He was going to end the Korean War. And when he ran for re-election in 1956, his campaign was, you know, uh, going through the list of how they expanded Social Security, over a million more people were members of unions, uh, how they, you know, built thousands of miles of highways, thousands of hospitals and schools all over this country, uh, you know, all this stuff. And, you know, back then, I, I remember thinking, you know, this Republican thing isn't so bad, and I don't see any of that stuff anymore, and I understand that you want to take the Republican Party back to its roots. Tell me about it. Exa yeah, exactly. And and one of the things you you didn't include there with Eisenhower's equal pay as well was a part yeah. of the Republican platform then. Yeah. Um, it, exactly. I think you know the Republican Party has, in especially over the last twenty years or so, has really uh, strayed from its historic roots, uh, its its historic values. And and I'm in this race um, because I think that Arkansas's third congressional district needs an independent Republican voice in Washington, and, and the party as a whole um, needs to be uh, wrested away from the establishment and returned to its historic roots. And and so I'm in this race to, to help further that conversation that the Republican Party needs to get back to its historic values. It's really remarkable because right now in the Democratic Party, you've got you know a, a large cohort of people, uh, both politicians and individuals, um, who are trying to take the Democratic Party back to its FDR roots, uh, you know, which kind of strayed away from that for, for a while with the whole DLC thing. And now you want to take the Republican Party back to essentially the Eisenhower roots of it, uh, only a more modern, enlightened version of it. What, uh, give, us, give us a rundown of, of your platform. What are the things you're running on? Yeah, there's, there's a number of things that are important to me. When I talk about returning the party to its historic values, it's things like meaningful tax reform, um, I think it's important that, you know, Republicans love to talk about tax reform, which is a, a good thing. But I think arguments about tax brackets for the wealthiest Americans misses the point of tax reform. The most significant issue that exists in our tax code right now is the, the huge loopholes that allow big corporations to, to get away with paying almost no taxes. And we need to level the playing field so that small businesses can compete. So meaningful tax reform is something that, that I think is a historic Republican value. Liberty and opportunity for all people. Uh, the Republican Party used to be known for who it was for rather than who it was against. I think we need to be a party that uh, that puts the needs of people ahead of uh, party establishment and scoring cheap political points. Uh, and so that means things like health care for all. It means college education, making that available. It means immigration rep reform. Are you about free college education for everybody? Uh, I, I absolutely think that there's some some things that we could look at to make sure that especially the the poorest Americans who who don't have opportunity to uh, to 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 send their kids to college. I mean, I my daughter just graduated from from high school uh, on Saturday, and so for the first time in our lives, my wife and I are 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 staring at college debt, and uh, you know, for our for our kids and thinking about that for the first time, and uh, and we absolutely need to address that. Um, but that's not all. It's uh, being a, a welcoming culture for for refugees, uh, and then I also think you know we need to get back to wise and responsible and competent government spending, uh, whether it's Republicans or Democrats. 
Um, it, it seems to me that that spending and government overreach is, is way out of whack. And we've seen that from both Republican and Democrat presidents and, and, and Congresses. And I think that we need to get back to wise and competent spending, spending and investment that uh, that makes a difference for the most Americans possible. What does that rather mean? Rather than, well, I think- Give me some examples. I think that, yeah, I'll give you some examples. I I think things like healthcare for all and and college education, investing in infrastructure, those kinds of projects um, that benefit the most Americans are a much better way to invest the the astronomical amount of money that the government spends rather than on you know tax breaks for the wealthiest Americans or bailouts for Wall Street, those kinds of things. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh... Wow. A lot, a lot here. We're talking with uh, Reverend Ry Rob Ryersey. He is a Republican candidate for Congress in Arkansas's 3rd District. His website, robb2018.com. You can tweet him at robb2018, uh, at rob2018. And uh, robb is how he spells his first name. Um, uh, Reverend Ryersey, are you running in a primary first, or are you going to be the Republican candidate for the 3rd District? Yeah, I'm I'm running against um, Congressman Steve Womack. He's uh, he's the Republican in incumbent in our district, mm -hmm. uh, and so it's a it's a primary challenge um, against him. Um, and you know, frankly, Steve Womack is a good man. Um, he's someone that I've I've voted for in the past, um, but really over, especially in the last year or so, I've really come to realize that. Um, that in, in a number of ways, Congressman Womack has been um, someone who's been uh, much more in line with the establishment than being a, uh, a voice to represent Arkansans. And uh, and so I'm in this race because I want uh, all members of, of, of my district to have a voice that will represent them in Washington. Tell me about the brand new, brand new Congress.org. Yeah, Brand New Congress is this fantastic organization that that I am so excited to be uh, affiliated with. Uh, the idea with Brand New Congress is to run hundreds of congressional candidates across the country uh, with a unified plan, a unified platform. Regardless so of party, right? Regardless of party. Yeah, we use we use the phrase post-partisan uh, because it, it's Brand New Congress is Republicans, Democrats, independents coming together, putting what I like to say, putting people ahead of party to actually solve the biggest problems that we face as a country. Um, it is I mean, it is such a breath of fresh air. I have, it's since since I've been involved with, with BNC, um, I've got some friends that like the thing that they, they say to me all the time about BNC is they, they say, I, I feel like for the first time I've got hope when it comes to politics. And it's because they've learned about brand new Congress. And, and I'm, I'm thrilled to be the first Republican that, that brand new Congress has endorsed. I'm also thrilled that, uh, uh, in the coming weeks, there's going to be several more. Uh, this is a, a an effort to really change American politics in a very grassroots and exciting way. It would be remarkable. I I keep saying on the air, it seems to me that the modern Republican Party is basically, uh, you know, it's like a RICO operation. It's 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 defending the interests of a handful of billionaires and 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 a couple of hundred large multinational corporations, and doesn't give a damn about the rest of us. I mean, you know, it's just it's. Uh, and to see to see people to see progressives. I mean, you you openly call yourself a progressive Republican. To see progressives, you know, like Teddy Roosevelt was a progressive Republican. Um, to see progressives running in that party, um, I'm not sure it's possible, but I, I'm I'm really impressed. Um, well, well, I, I would say I'd say two things, Tom. One is I, I'm kind of cynical about about the establishment of both parties. And I think everything you just said about the Republican Party could probably be said about the Democrat Party as well. Uh, the other thing I would say is that, you know, I think so many Americans, I think we all get so frustrated with our with our elected officials. We see the things that they do and, and there's just that high level of frustration. Um, and, and there's that feeling of, of hopelessness, like, well, you know, what can I do? How can I make any difference? Uh, this campaign and the campaigns of, of many others through Brand New Congress are, are giving Americans across the country the opportunity to kind of come out of the shadows and to say, you know what, uh, I'm going to support someone who's, who's going to put my needs and the needs of my neighbors ahead of the party establishment. Yeah. Now, while you may think that the, the Democratic Party is as corrupt as the Republican Party, um, I, you know, I would challenge that, but I'm not going to here. 
Um, sure. Uh, it does, you know, when you look at, when you go to, when people go to Rob, robb2018.com uh, and go to your page and click platform, the platform that I'm looking at looks like the Democratic Party's platform. Uh, how, how do you reconcile that with running as a Republican? Or is it does it does it just not matter to you? You think these are just these are the principles uh, that, under which the government and the country should be run? Yeah, our our platform with the brand new Congress is a it's a post partisan platform, and so you're gonna you're gonna read things that are gonna sound familiar for Democrats. You're gonna read things that sound familiar for Republicans, and you and and frankly, you're gonna read some things that are creative ideas that nobody's talking about. Um, our, our plan is to, to actually address some of the biggest problems we face, whether it's health care or education or infrastructure, whether it's uh, the electoral process. Um, we're going we're gonna to address the, the problems that our country faces with actual solutions. You know, we're not, we're not taking big money. We're not taking money from corporations or from special interests. And so we aren't, we aren't beholden to anybody but our supporters and our voters. That's remarkable. Uh, Reverend Ro Rob Breyer, C, uh, his website, robb2018.com. Uh, you can tweet him at Rob, robb2018, if you want to start a conversation with him. Uh, uh, Reverend, welcome, uh, excuse me, thank you for being with us today, and I wish you the very best. Thank you, Tom, so much. We'll be back.